Prior to the arrival of the European Mesoamerican codices were manuscripts made of bark paper called amate, or animal hides. Mesoamerican codices served a variety of purposes, including recording historical events, genealogies, religious rituals, and societal organization. They were richly illustrated with vibrant colors and intricate pictorial symbols. Notable Mesoamerican cultures known for creating codices include the Maya, Mexica, or Aztec, Zapotec, and Mixtec cultures. Each culture had its own unique style of writing and artistic expression, making codices valuable sources for understanding the diversity and complexity of Mesoamerican societies. In central Mexico, a scribe of Mesoamerican codices was known as a tlalquilo. A tlalquilo, or one who writes and paints, played a crucial role in creating and maintaining the rich visual traditions of their culture. In the Maya area, they were referred to as atzip and ahuo, terms signifying scribe and painter, respectively. Only lords and high priests who formed the ruling class possessed and oversaw the management of codices. The ruling class's power was partly based on the knowledge they controlled and documented in these codices. It's impossible to know exactly how many codices there were prior to the arrival of the Spanish, but there are records that there were many libraries filled with these codices throughout Mesoamerica. In central Mexico, libraries were known as Amoshkali, which translates to House of Books from the Nahuatl language. Around the time of the Spanish conquest, the most famous Amoshkali was the one in Texcoco. This library was renowned for its size and its diversity of subjects. Like modern day libraries, codices were sorted and organized within these indigenous libraries. After the Spanish conquest, most Mesoamerican codices and texts were deliberately destroyed by the Europeans or lost over time. And today, only around 20 or fewer pre-Hispanic Mesoamerican codices survive. Estimates suggest that there are around 500 colonial era Mesoamerican codices. These post-conquest codices often involve a collaboration of sorts between indigenous scribes and European missionaries. Moreover, these colonial codices provide insights into the budding mestizaje of indigenous and European cultures at the time, offering glimpses into the evolving societies and cultural dynamics in the wake of the Spanish colonization of Mesoamerica. Studying Mesoamerican codices has been crucial for modern day scholars to decipher the languages and the rich cultural heritage of Mesoamerican civilizations. If you want to learn more about the colonial era codex, now known as the Florentine Codex, check out this video.